Hello guys, welcome back to another Pavlov Shack Tips and Tricks. Today I'm going to be showing you the best spots and angles on OG containers. Okay, so the first spot we have here is this red container. It's very useful for watching B-Sight. You can switch the angle like this, get a nice peek, pop them in the head. Or if you'd like, you can get inside the container, lean over to the right, watch window, watch house, and also watch over by A-Sight. It has a lot of angles that you can watch both sides from. Second spot we have here is if you're defending, you come in here, this corner right here. It's pretty much the best place to camp in a corner on this map. You can watch both doors. You can watch upstairs. Make sure nobody comes in. This house has a lot of people coming through it. You got to be careful not to get blown up by a grenade or get flashed. Now, obviously, everybody knows this spot right here. You just go up the stairs. And you pretty much have a view of the entire map. The only exception is A site. You cannot see onto A site. But you can see in the back, in your spawn, if you're defending or attacking. All these windows, you can see over to B site, their spawn, you know, everything that you would need to see on this map. And if you're camping up here, sitting behind these crates right here, you can watch the stairs. A lot of people use this corner to peek down downstairs and make sure nobody comes in. If they're coming upstairs, it's going to be hard for them to turn around. But a lot of people expect this spot, so, you know, be careful when you sit there. An attacker can come from down here and just pop you up there. So, just make sure you're looking out. A great spot for defending A, and a lot of people expect it. There's not very many spots on this map because it's a very small and condensed map. But... If you're, if you're defending A, enemies hard pushing A from that side, sit right here behind these crates. You know, watch the corner. Make sure that they don't come around. Get a quick, easy headshot off on them. Because if you come out by these barrels right here, the whole team could end up pushing and you could be trying to battle more than you can handle and get shot in the head. So it's, it's easier just to sit around the corner wait for them make sure that they're not pushing a and if they do just rotate back around to b to get a peek on b and make sure that they don't come to a you know on when you're defending come over here by this wall peek out get some shots in they're going b side and then if you have a little more time come around right here sit by this red container sit right here wait on them come around get some shots if they come this way get some shots and if they went A side, now you have a great opportunity to flank. So just come around right here. Flank. And that's pretty much all the spots for defending. You got the container. You got the corner. You got inside the house. But the house is goes with both sides. It's in the middle of the map. So both sides can fight over it. So it's very hard to get control over the house. You got this corner. And then, of course, you have spawn back here which if the team is heavily pushing you can watch house from back here get some shots off hopefully get a headshot watch a side by these containers make sure they don't plan it but also you could get shot from the windows up there in the house so you got to be careful and then this right side which you can get a quick peek on them if they're going to be get some headshots off but they will be expecting you to show up from right there, so be careful. All right, now over on the attacking side, things get a little more spicy. There's a little bit more wiggle room here. I, I, I prefer attacking because there's a lot more angles that you can peek from. So, of course, you got back here by the containers. Watch the windows. Come over here to the left. Get your peek. Watch down mid right here. Make sure they don't peek you right here. And if they're not peeking, and if they're not over there by red container... Come over here, peek to the left by these crates, and watch down B site. And this is a great head glitch right here. So you can watch down site, make sure they're not by the container. Rotate over to these crates, and now you're defended from this side, but you've got to watch the house right here because they can't shoot you. And your flank because it's easy for the enemy team to flank around. But you just watch right here, pop them pop them if they're there then you rotate up plant the bomb get it down now you have b side controlled so now you got to peek around the corner make sure they're not coming around a side and then watch your flank on a side 
Um, some people really don't expect this spot. If you sit in the back by these crates, this white container over here in the back, you can really get a nice long shot off on them because they're not going to see you. And then if you're getting shot from the left side, rotate over, push up. Just make sure you're keeping aim. Now, if you're going A side, you got to be very careful because there's two ways that they can push you from. They can either hard push down through the house and right here and get quick easy headshots or they can hard push through a they can get to a bomb faster than we can a good spot is to sit over here by this red container peek to the right as soon as they come around the corner pop a headshot off if you're really feeling it come over here by these red uh barrels right here pop off some headshots there's not really many great angles that you can get to on a side but if you're able to can wait right here when they come around the corner, pop them. But most likely that they're gonna push as a team, so it will be hard to kill all of them and you'll probably end up dying. You may get one person, but if they're not here, come around the side, sit by these crates right here, watch over onto their spawn, peek over, and they're most likely gonna be on B side or in the house. So what you gotta do is just watch around. They're right there, pop them. Then run over inside the house, get in the corner that I told you about previously, and wait on them. The last spot that I'm going to show you is over here. If you're attacking, come over here by these red containers. Watch out for the window, because they're, if they're coming through house, you're going to want to sit right here and wait for them. So if they start shooting through the window, come out, pop them in the head. If they come through the door, they're most likely going to be peeking to the left side their left so if they're aiming this way it's going to be to their left so they're going to be looking that way pop them in the back rotate around it, everything is just pretty much symmetrical on this map so pretty much just do the same things if you can get inside house get inside house go upstairs it's the best spot that you're going to get you get a view of the entire map once again like i said before pretty much the best spot in this entire map but everybody knows that so it's not you know I'll just i'm showing less obvious spots that you can sit in but this is the best spot that you're gonna get the only downside of sitting upstairs is if you are defending and the enemy team plants you're gonna have to come downstairs and they know you're gonna be upstairs if you're the last one so they're gonna wait you out and camp you same thing with planting the bomb if you're stuck up here with the bomb and they're camping the bomb downstairs. I mean, you're pretty much stuck. There's only one way to get out of here. So, it's kind of a trade-off. If these spots or angles helped you out in any way, make sure you like the video and subscribe for more Pavlov Shack tips and tricks. Anyways, guys, peace out.